all but a few dozen of the last holdouts from a months-long mass protest against a proposed oil pipeline in North Dakota peacefully vacated their Riverside camp as an eviction deadline passed on Wednesday. We very firm that the camp is now closed, Governor Doug Burgum, a Republican, told an evening news conference. Following Wednesday's exodus, Burgum estimated there were 25 to 50 protesters left. He said they were still free to leave voluntarily so long as they do not interfere with cleanup crews scheduled to enter the site at 9 a.m. on Thursday. The encampment has stood since August on U.S. Army Corps of Engineers property at the edge of the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation near Cannonball, North Dakota, about 40 miles south of Bismarck, the state capital. Protesters calling themselves water protectors have rallied there against plans to route the Dakota Access Pipeline beneath the lake near the reservation, saying the project poses a threat to water resources and sacred tribal sites. Dubbed the Ossidy Sukowin Camp, the site became a focal point for U.S. environmental activists and Native Americans expressing indigenous rights, drawing some 5,000 to 10,000 protesters at the height of the movement in early December. Most have drifted since away, as tribal leaders urged people to leave due to harsh winter weather, while pressing their opposition to the pipeline in court. Roughly 300 demonstrators had remained until this week. Protesters and police have clashed multiple times since August, with more than 700 arrests tallied. On Wednesday authorities appeared intent on avoiding clashes, though 10 arrests were made as protesters confronted police in riot gear on a highway outside the camp entrance before the officers retreated around nightfall. President Donald Trump has pushed for completion of the pipeline since he took office last month, signing an executive order that reversed an Obama administration decision and cleared the way for the $3.8 billion project to proceed. Two tribes earlier this month last legal bid to halt construction. The pipeline is due to be complete and ready for royal by April 1, according to court documents.